Hey, in this video we will continue the beginner's guide to Pygame Zero in Python. So if you're just starting out with this video, you'll need to go to github.com programming rainbow beginner's guide to Pygame Zero. You'll need to clone that repository, move inside the directory, and since this is the fourth video, you can grab the the code from the video number three, the main.py, and you can copy that main.py file into the top level directory. And that will be where we are working with today. Let me close this right here. So where we ended off in the last video was we just created a player sprite and we're moving around the screen. So let's check that out. So we have a window that we can open and close. We have a background. We have a background color we can change. We have text moving around the screen. We can control a player sprite. That is the Python logo. We have a a title up there. We also have a window icon that is loaded that you've seen in the first video. You watch that. So in this video, we would like to deal with playing music and pausing it and unpausing it and also playing sound effects. Okay, so that's what we'll be adding in this video. So let's move over to Pygame Zero. And this is going to be, there's two sections we're going to be looking at. Um, they're built in objects. Yeah. Built-in objects over here on the left, we can fi find sound here under resource loading, sound, and then music. So I'm going to open up the sound first. So sounds right here. That's just, if you just click on the link, you'll open it up. I already have it in a page open. So Pygame Zero can play WAV files or AUG files. So we're using AUG files. I'll show you the sound files that we're working with here. So in the sounds folder, so we are going to be using um, zero sound and Python sound, not SDL or. Okay, so we're using the augs, not the waves. And basically we need these to be, um, Pygame Zero is going to load them automatically for us as long as they're in the sounds folder. So our sounds are in the sounds folder. And then the way the way we play a sound is by using a method. Or, of sounds, so sounds dot, and then whatever the drum would be the actual name of the file. So if we have drum dot wave in our sounds folder, we can call uh, the function sounds, and drum will be available to us as the name. So it's a bit confusing. It's like they made a method or instance of it named drum that is the same name as the, and then we can call dot play on that. So whatever the Whatever the um, sound is called, you're, we're going to call that. And I do believe there's some restrictions on this. I don't think that we can use like capital letters, and I don't know if we can use hyphens or underscores. I think it, for Pygame Zero for this to work, because it's loading stuff, and it wants it to already be in that folder, I think it just needs to be lowercase. Uh, we can test that um, in a bit. I, I know there's something quirky about this. But anyway, so... We, we use sounds dot and the name of the sound file and then dot play to play it. And we can also loop it and do other things, but we just want it to play. So let's check that out. We're going to be using this zero and this Python one. So we don't need to actually do anything to load it, but what I would like to happen is since zero is bouncing around the screen, we can have it say zero there. And since we can change the background color, when we press the space bar, why don't we have it say um, Python when we do that? So right here, this is pressing space is calling the Rand color. So let's go look at the Rand color. In here, under Rand color, why don't we just change that to play the sound there? So we'll do the the way that they set it. We'll say sounds dot, and it's Python, and the name of the sound is just Python, and it'll be dot play. Okay. And this, this is the same problem that, that we'll see many times. We need to go up here. We need to add in sounds. So this will work. Like, uh, Let's just show that it will work. Python. 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 
Um, but the LSP doesn't like it. So we are using the right one, but it, the linters can't figure it out. So we're going to add sounds. And this is going to complain about music too later. So I'm just going to add music here. Okay, so we have sounds up there. And now it's complaining about music uh, because we're not using it yet. But... Um, hmm. So for, I don't think this is a problem in VS Code, but in um, NeoVim, if you're using a Pyrite, we still have the same issue. So if I, if I get rid of this right here, I'll just get rid of music right now too, for the time being. Okay, so if I have those two there, we go down to where we're playing the sound file. Let's see what's going on here. Okay, so we have um, we have two things happening here. Yeah, we have a, a warning and an error. So we're we're taking care of one, but we still have the other. Basically, let's let's undo that. Save. Let's go down. Look at it again. I don't remember which one it is. Okay, we got rid of the warning up there, but we still have the error. Um, again, this is a this is a whole issue with Pi Game Zero, you know, but um, it's more of a linter thing, so it's not actually stopping it from working. So it's not a bug as such for for us to use. There have been other bugs. There was this whole bug I was trying to go through the book, and I couldn't figure out why my program wouldn't work. And it was there was a, an internal bug where it only give me the mouse movements um, from 100 to 100. Anything past a 100 to 100 square from 0 to 100 um, to the right, 0 to 100 down, that's fine. It would give me mouse inputs for that. But anything past that, it wouldn't. And it, and it wouldn't error or tell you anything was wrong. So it's just the programs I was trying to make, I was trying to follow the book, none of them would work. And I thought it was my code, and I, I just kept persisting in it until I found out it was actually just a bug in Pygame Zero. It was very frustrating. But this one here, we're going to put, I believe this is just, uh, when, when we put this one up here, this is going to, this is going to solve any um, VS Code warnings. Or where is it? Right here. This will solve the VS Code warning. But for me specifically in NeoVim, we also need to add in, see where is it? Right here. We also need to tell um, to ignore. I'm just going to put type ignore in this, and this one's for pylint for pyrite. Sorry. Okay, so yeah, this is not ideal, by the way, doing this because I'm telling it to ignore, to not warning me about these errors or warnings. That's not right. It should be warning me about errors and warnings. And they should be real errors and warnings. So this is basically telling me there's something wrong with this Pygame Zero. And there is. There's something wrong with it. Okay, so it's not ideal to just throw a war every time you get a warning to block it and ignore it. That's not that's not the right way to do this. Um so let's let's put the we put the sound effect here. So I'm gonna I, I just gonna want to t test real fast. Um, if we can have a capital letter in this. I don't think we can. So I'm going to rename this. I'm going to give it a capital P. And then in here, I'm going to rename that. Okay. Oh, yeah. It was when I pressed the space bar. That's when it, yeah. So yeah, you can't do that. So it needs to be lowercase. And let's also see if we can put like a hyphen or, or a snake case. Let's see if we can do that. So we'll, we'll go over here and we will rename this. Oops, I don't want an I on this. I'll just put P underscore. Oh, come on. I uh, pressed. Wrong. 
Uh, I should have pressed enter instead of escape. Button. Okay. So we have Python and we have Python here. So let's just see if that works. I'll save it. Python, 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 Python. So you can snake case it, you just can't use capital letters. Okay, so I'm going to fix that though, because that's not how I want it spelled. But just know that you can't use capital letters in your. Uh, I'm not sure about hyphens, but snake casing works. Okay. So, um, yeah, so I want to put this sound effect also in um, every time that zero hits the wall, I'm going to have it say zero. I'm going to yank this. I'm going to go down to the text update and write in each one of these when we're changing the direction of the velocity. I'm going to put that in. But the sound that I want it to play will be zero. Okay, so I'm just going to do that for all four of them. Okay, so now every time the the text bounces off on the walls, it should say zero. Pi gain 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 zero. Okay, but it doesn't just say zero. It says pi gain zero. I actually forgot that it said that. Okay, so uh, we got pi game zero every time it bounces off the wall, and every time we press spacebar, it says Python. So that's how you'd play sound effects. Uh, so let's look at uh, music. Music is slightly different than sound effects. So sound effects are meant to be, in, in SDL2, they're called chunks. They're meant to be short sounds that can be played on top of each other, like, like uh, sound effects. But music is actually just a singular music file that is streamed. And it's meant to, you know, play long, and, and and there's only one of them. Where sound effects, you can play multiple ones on top of each other, depending on how many it allows you to play. It could be eight or more. Okay, so for music, like I said, it's a little bit different. There's this thing saying it's experimental from 1.1, 1 .1, but I believe this is, I believe stable version is 1.2. Okay, so it's a warning us um, that it was experimental before. So what we need to do is we, we are playing this one. This is different. We're, we're saying music play, and we're actually passing in the name of the music file we want to play. It's not like the sound effect. So this one is a, a function or method that is taking in a parameter that is the name of the music file you want to play. And by default, it plays indefinitely. It loops over and over again. And we can, we can actually check to see if it is playing by this this uh, method right here, or function, this is going to be returning a boolean if it's playing or not playing. And then we can actually pause the music with pause, and we can unpause the music with unpause. So we're going to use these three to set up a toggle to be able to pause and unpause our music. And we're going to play it with this one. Okay, and this is looking for music in the music folder. And it's also an AUG file over here in the music folder. Let me that open. So here we have the free software song. This is by Richard Stallman. And um, it's an AUG file. You can't see it right here, but it's actually an AUG file. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a variable in the class. Uh, I actually put it as a constant. It doesn't really matter. So. In my notes, I put it up here as a constant. And this is not a, Pygame is not using this constant. This is, I just put it as a constant. But it's not uh, automatically used for anything by Pygame Zero. So I'm just going to call it music. So this is just my constant for myself. It's not built into Pygame. A free, soft, Song, and it's the 8-bit version. 
And I don't need to put AUG on it. So this is just the title. I don't need the path. I don't need the music folder. And I don't need the AUG. Okay? So that's just a way for me to access it. You know, I could have put it in a variable too. It, it, doesn't, it doesn't matter. You can do either way that you want to do it. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell the music to play right after I instance game here. So it's uh, music play. And then in play, we need to pass in the name of the file. And we've just created a constant that's holding that. So it's just music. Okay. Okay, music not defined. Let's go up here. Let's undo this. Okay, and that fixed it. Sounds needed two things going on, but we got we got music up and running. So this is going to play the song indefinitely, but we want to be able to pause it. So I'm just going to do it right in here. This is just key events. I'm going to say if key equals key dot m. That's the m key. I'm going to say for mute, even though it's actually pausing the song, not muting it. But I just for all the projects, I set it up as the m key. And I'm going to say if, if the music is playing, right? Now, I think we need to pass in the parameter. Um, returns true. You know what? I, I don't think we need to pass anything in here. So I'm going to try that. My, my notes, I do have it passed in. I'm not sure why. Playing. Name unknown. Hmm. Well, I'm, I'm still going to leave it off. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to say music dot pause. So if it is playing, I'm going to let it pause it. Else, I'm going to unpause it. Okay, it it does. Hmm, argument missing. Yeah, so name. So this is strange here. So I do have it in my own things as well, but it doesn't talk about um, that I need to pass anything in here. You know, when I when I play the music, I need to pass in a name. But when I check if it if it is playing, it it doesn't say that. So maybe that's just a a mistake in their in their um, documentation that they made. But uh, yeah, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna pass in music here again. Okay, so this should let us pause and unpause the music. So I'm going to pause it like pretty quickly and then unpause it. I do need to listen to it for a little bit because I'm listening to the audio from the Twitch stream. So it's a bit delayed. Pi game zero. 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 Python. Pi game zero. Okay, that all looks like it's working correctly. So that is pretty pretty basic. Like I said, you you can set this. Maybe I accidentally passed. Oh, uh, I think this is something that was added. That has nothing to do with me. I think it was added by the LSP probably. Or, or it was accidentally pasted up there when I wasn't paying attention. Um, just making sure I have everything I need to have here. That looks correct. So this one should be called, um, let's change the title of this to Sound Effects and Music. Okay, so we have added uh, sounds and music here. We do need our sounds in a sounds folder and music in a music folder. And we're using AUG. It says you can use WAVE as well, but I'm using AUG files. Um, we only need two files here, so ignore that there's four here. Okay, and the way that we play music, um, I, ju I just held the string here in a constant. Um, you can put it in a variable, you can put it directly, it's fine. But what I did is basically after instancing the game object, um, right before the game, you know, the game loop is going to start, I I've told it to play. So I've instanced the game object and told it to play the music right away. 
But down here, I am checking if this music is being played to pause it, otherwise unpause it. So that's giving me a toggle action on the M key. Okay, so that is the event, and that is pausing or unpausing the music. So that's pretty, pretty basic. For sound effects, let me just save this file. For sound effects, the, the music needs to be in the sound folder. You don't, it loads it for you, the, the sound. So all you really need to do is just tell them to play. So that's just sound.python.play for the Python sound file. And um, for me on NeoVim, I did have to put the ignore here, even though I put the sounds up there. And then I've used the zero sound effect, the, the zero.org right there. So sounds.zero.play for those. So that's just how you play sound effects, and it's pretty straightforward and simple. So I don't think there's anything else changed here. That's about it. So again, I hope you enjoyed that, or I hope it was educational. And that's kind of most of everything that you need to make a game. There, There's always little extra things here and there, but that's opening and closing a window. That's uh, changing the size of the window. That's... That's drawing a background image, that's loading and drawing sprites, that's creating text, moving things, checking boundaries, you know, uh, collision boundaries, which is basically the same way you would do it for any kind of box collision, keyboard movement, all kinds of stuff. So those are all the little tiny components that you would need to use to make a simple game. And I hope that I explained that. I know Python is becoming more and more difficult to use, and this library is got bugs in it and got a whole bunch of annoying stuff going on with it, but you can still use it. It's not too bad once you kind of figure out all the little things that's going on with it. So I hope you enjoyed that again, and thanks for watching. Bye.